Welcome to this video. It's about NVV net present value where we take into account the time value of money. Let's talk about this mid, uh, time value of money. Money has a time value. Pound, one pound today is not same as one pound uh, one year later. For example, one or hundred, they give you an example, it could be here, hundred. Hundred pound, if you have it today and one year later, it's not the same. Because if you invest this hundred pound somewhere and you get 10% return of it, one year later, it's going to be 110 pound, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, the time value of money, there is a value of money. Money loses its value over the time. Money depreciates. Whatever you can buy, if you can buy a burger, let's assume this is a hamburger. Yeah, a burger is two pound today, but one year later it's two pound ten pence could be, or two pound twenty pence could be, even two pound fifty pence could be. With one pound, we used to get four uh, wings before, now one pound we get three wings. In KFC, it's two wings. Yeah, so money loses its uh, value, affordability of the money uh, goes down. Why and how? We need to do the discounting. Also, there's some preference of having money now rather than waiting for one year later. Risk preference. There's less risk if you have money now. Consumption preference. You'd like to consume money now instead of waiting for one more year. Invest it now instead of waiting for one or two or three more years. So this is the idea of your present value. What is the uh, present uh, value? We also call it P PV. The discounting factor, after doing the discounting, uh, what is the value of your of money, present value? Yeah, like uh, uh, 500 pound. After three years, if you get 500, what is the value of this 500 today? Or after two years, after one year, if you get that money, what is the value, present value of uh, that money today? We need to do a discounting factor. Discounting factor. There are some calculations given for this discounting factor. And look at this at the end. We found a uh, discounting factor. When we multiply 500 could be times by um, this figure, we get discounting factor uh, and multiply with the money. We get present value of our money. Money depreciates. That's how you depreciate your money. And what do you mean by cost of capital? Sometimes students, they uh, uh, don't feel what is the cost of capital. If you invest your money today somewhere, you could have earned 10%, 5%, 20% or 12% a certain uh, um, return. So you are not uh, investing on that uh, project, uh, but rather you're investing in your project. So it should have a cost of capital, which is kind of equivalent of your return. So that is the cost of capital. By using the discounting factor, we are bringing the value into our present value, the cash flows into the uh, present value. And uh, the decision is if your NPV, net present value, is positive or even zero, go for that project. How do you do it? Let's do this illustration. It's from the last example. UCK Port Industrial, they invested 250000 They're getting money 80, 80, 80, 60, and 40. They have a cost of capital 10%. On that percentage basis, we need to do the discounting rate and multiply, getting the discounting factor, and multiply with to find the uh, present value. Okay? So this discount rate will be given into the exam. Look at this here. These are your discounting factor at 10% over the years, 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 years. Yeah, different year, different discount uh, factor. First, year zero, discount factor is one. There's no, it's the same thing. 250,000 invested, 250,000 minus. Yeah, 180,000 we received, but discounting factor, this will be given. You don't need to spend any time to calculate all these things. Even in ACCA exams, chartered all the ICA, WCMA exams, these are given. In your AT exam, these are given as well. And UT table, discounting factor table given. So 80,000 today, multiple. 80,000 one year later, multiply with the discounting factor equals to 72,728 today. This is known as PV, present value. Then 80,000, two years later, you multiply with another discounting factor. These factors are given. It's based on 10%, uh, but these are given, you know, to choose and put in it. And look at this. 80,000 after two years, you're going to receive 80,000, but the value today is less. So this next one and next one and next one. 
But when we add up all these things and take away to 50,000, the total is 14,760. This is your return of profit, you can say, from the investment. After doing discounting, that means you are at safe site. You are getting positive uh, money from this investment. You must accept this investment. Even if it is zero, you should invest because you are not at a loss even after doing discounting. There's another way of showing it, another table. At the top, we write years, year zero, one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, over here, capital expenditure, minus 250 into the year zero. Cash inflow, 80, 80, 80, 60, 40. Net cash flow, um, if this is minus, rest is plus. Then you, you do the PV factor, present value factor, discount factor, we call it. Yeah, discount factor. So it's given, multiply, and you get the answer here. The same uh, table here, year, cash flow, discount factor, cumulative uh, cash flow, present value. You do this way. And finally, uh, once you add all these things with this 250,000, you get 14,760. And that's how you do your net present value. Check out the next video on couple of activities over the NPV.